hello everyone in this video i'm going to show how to import daily data where elements are in a single column so what i mean here is i have a, an example here of my data my daily data so i'm going to show you two cases whereby the values are in a single column and where the values are in multiple columns so what i mean here if i open this this folder and this file so in fact the structure of this file is in this way whereby we have this there's a column for id and the column for the elements so we have only one column for the all the elements from top up to the bottom uh, here we have the column for year month day ops hours observation hour and here we have a single column for values so this differ with this file whereby now uh, values are in multiple columns so it is still a daily data but here now we have the elements in still in one column but now values from day one up to the end of the, the end of the month so from the day one up to the end of the the month so all this the two are daily data but the difference is that uh, this file has got multiple values for the L for the yes multiple values column so column uh, values are in different and multiple columns it's one column a second and so on so each day has got a column while the other one all the values are in one column so this is important to note so that it so let's see how to import such uh, daily files into into Climsoft remember Climsoft will not be able to import any file which is not text file so in this case i mean uh, excel file will not be able to to go into Climsoft to be imported so in case you have any excel file you need to convert it into a text file so like the two are text files this one is a comma delimited and this one is a the same file but this one is semicolon delimited to be able to view this you open it under uh, notepad consider the separator here is a semicolon and the separator here on top is with a comma so that's it so let's see so it is important to note the i mean the, the separate of your file because this will be required into Climsoft, you need to specify your file has got which type of delimiter or separator so let's start launch your Climsoft. of course this process is done by the Climsoft administrator login using your username and password as usual go to the icon for data transfer then select uh, external data transfer menu select text files so we are importing text files but here is daily text file for daily data so here what you do you select you, op you click on the open file to select the file you want to to import so in this case uh, my data daily values 
So we are going to start with the, this one where values are in a single column. Open this. So we are going to import this tab text but tab with te tab text file but uh, delimited by tab. So open it and then click on the, the view. As you can see, the file is not displaying correctly because it is not a uh, comma delimited, but rather it is a tab. So if you see something like this, you know that the delimiter is wrong. So you need to change. So in this case, I know that my file is a tab. So I click on the tab and then I click on the view. So now you are your file is opening is now displaying correctly and remember our file is long but the system will just display the first 25 rows at least for you to help you to organize your data so as usual the system uh, assign uh, what is called a note or number from one up to the end of the values to each and every column from one up to seven. So if you move a bit down, start row, you need to specify your data start at which row. Starting of course at, you jump the, the, the first row which was assigned by the system and you start here. So this is row number one which is a column, row number two, which is now, this is where the value start uh, starting. So that means we will not import the first row, but we'll start to import from the second row. So by default, the system has put two. In case your, your data does not start on row two, you can change this figure. But since my data start at row two, I want to import starting from row two, so I'm okay. So checking your data, you see that your data has got uh, decimals. So now to import this data, you need to remove the decimal because our data will go into a table called observation initial. And in this table data should be without decimals. So we, are, we will remove decimals to our data. So later on, the system will take back the decimal we are transferring to the final uh, database. So for the observation in final table. So that means we say, okay, because our files, our, our values have got decimals. So we say we ticked here. So we tick, we tick this option. In case your data is plain, does not have decimals, you can remove the decimal. But since your data has got decimals, you need to remove the decimals. Before, when, when, when this is now, when the data is being imported, it will be imported without decimals. So note that the missing, missing values, if your data has got missing, where there is missing, you need to avoid the character. What there is missing, you just leave blank. So the system will know that the blank stands for the missing until it will assign the right uh, character. Here, default observation hour is 06. So this is not, so we have our, our the column for our year. No problem. So we have our column for station ID. In case we don't have the column for station ID, you can put the ID as well here. Element code. So we have also the column for element code. So in case we don't have this column, you can put the, the code here. So this is the way you are defining your data. So we are not putting the ID here because we have the column for ID. We are not putting the element code here because we have the 
code for the, the, the column for the element. That it. So here our data is not a summarized data, so we leave this the way it is. Our data is the is daily data. So if you look at your right side, this is now the column header settings. This is now where you are going to specify each column with a corresponding field name. Like here, I column one corresponding to station ID. So under face select field name, I will assign the ID. Column two is element code you assign the element code column three is year you put the year column four is what month you match with month column five days match with days column six hours match with hours and then finally, column seven is precipitation. So you match with values. So precipitation is value. So you match with value. So that's it. So you are done. So you have matched correctly your file. So that means the system will know that each column, they will give, I mean, will assign each column that the title we put on top. But now, you need to you have you can see the two buttons there is save head aspects and the load head aspects so this one will help you to save your your headers the first row so that it can be reused in case you are loading the same type of data this can be reused so i'm going to show you how to do this but first of all let's click on the save head aspects to save this so here you can say daily one column then you say header 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 and then as you can see the type of file it will be it will give with the the extension sch that means schema so we are saving the same folder So why are we saving this uh, header specs? So let's assume we have another file with the same structure. So instead of defining again of, or matching again the each column with the corresponding field name, we'll just click on the load header specs to apply the headers, which is saved somewhere into the column. So this will help us to move faster. So what I mean here, let me close this window dialog. So let's say I'm going to do a new data transfer. I come here external text file. I'm going to transfer daily data. I select the file. This is the file I want to select. I view my file. This is not comma, it's tab. I select tab and view to display the file correctly. And then here I don't have headers, but I have saved them somewhere. So that means I will just go and click here to call the header specs row, which will apply this, the headers on top. Select this one, select the headers open to apply it on the top of the file as you can see now my headers are on the top of the file so that it so you design the header once and then for the same type of file you just apply you just load and apply so here my file is ready to be imported into Climsoft so in case there is any error it will display somewhere here so that I know what is going on. And also the system will also display the progress bar here to show me how is the progress of importing my data. So click on the load 
to import your data into the system or into Climsoft. So I click on the load. This, this process is very fast. You can see it has done. There is no error at all. Um, the message here is that data import process completed. So that means our data were imported successfully. So to be able to check this, what to do, just close this window, not the station ID, not the element code, not the year. So what to do, I just close this dialog, close this one again, go to administration, go to update observations. Here our data went into this table called observation initial. So our data sits in this table as of now, was imported in this table. So put the the ID for the station. That's why I told you to note this. Put the element code. That's element five. The year was nineteen eighty one. Uh, 1981 it was just one year and then view your file so here is your file as i told you your file was imported successfully and now your values here does not have any decimal point so the decimal will be applied back when you are transferring this, this data in the final database or in the final uh, table which is called observation final so this one i will show you so where there is a blank the system will apply m that means the system know that the file is missing so that's it so next i'm going to show you how to select the other type of file now so this file now where whereby now the the values are in multiple multiple still daily data daily data so we've imported we've imported this one but now this one is now where values are in multiple column uh, like this one yeah so values are in multiple columns so they one up to the end of the month this is daily data in a kind of transpose way still we are still importing a data whereby uh, elements are in one column this is to note because my next video i'm going to show you how to import now data whereby uh, elements are in different columns so let's see how we can import this file close it completely note the the file and this is a this file is just one year notice 1930 up to 1931 but 1930 has got data start up to from october but this is of course is the precipitation data so that is so how to import this data launch claim soft as usual login with your username and password go to data transfer icon select external data go to text files daily data click on the open file to locate the file remember our data is we want to select this one whereby our values are in multiple columns and you can decide to choose one of these files this is the same the same data but different uh, text format this is csv this is a semicolon separator so let's try let's use the semicolon separator open but by default, the system will point to the comma. Uh, once you view, your data will not display correctly because 
this is not a comma delimited value if you click on the tab and view the system still is not happy because this is not either a comma as a tab but this is the separator here is a semicolon that's why you need to say others select others and then you specify the separator you put there you specify that the system has got there your data is separated by a semicolon so you type the separator there and then you click on the view now your data is displayed correctly as you can see the system has assigned your file auto number so as the pile, uh, numbers automatically each each column has got one number from one up to the last record which is 35 columns wow so now check your data your data has got decimals your data start at row row one row two so this is okay your data has got decimals so you have to remove the decimals before you import so you don't need this station id because you have the column for the id you don't need the to put the element here because we have the you have the column for the element so the next step is to at your right side you need now to put the column header settings so you need to match now your data yeah you need to be careful so column number one we have our id station id number two we have uh, element code number three yes number four month number five our data starts here now this is uh, day one six daily two seven daily three eight daily four can scroll the other side yeah nine day five ten day six eleven seven twelve day eight thirteen day nine fourteen day ten can scroll again fifteen eleven need to be careful here 16 12 17 13 18 14 19 day 15 20 day 16 you need to be careful here to make sure you are matching correctly yes yeah, so day 21 and i mean 21 17 22 18 23 E nineteen twenty four E twenty twenty five day twenty one we are almost there so you scroll again
through 26, day 22, 27, day 23, 28, day 24, you need to be careful, 29, 25. So you need to be careful so that you match your values correctly. Twenty-nine, yes. Yeah, so thirty thirty corresponding to the twenty-six. Thirty-one, day twenty-seven. 32, day 28, 33, day 29, column 34, day 30, and lastly, column 35 corresponding to Day thirty one, so that it so you are done. So you advise to save this aspect so that in case we have this another the same type of files to load, some files of the same structure file structures to load, you will not be able to you will not uh, apply the header as well, you will not define the header as well, but you will have it so that means you need to click on the save to make sure you are saving this data. So this is daily many column. Here we have headers. A does header. So the system will give it the extension of SCH. That means schema file. We are saving it in the same folder. So as I said, in case you have another station in, in with the same structure. So what you can do, you just close here. You go to data transfer, external data, text, daily. Select the file you want to import. Remember, you have any, you can select any file I want. A view, this is a comma, the limited value. Scroll to check your data up and down. As I said, you, the system will display a few columns, 25 columns at least to help you to study the structure of your files. And now, all oh, the settings are okay. So our data start at row two, one, two. So its title will not be taken, will not be picked. Because the system knows they will use the, the, the first row. So we, our data has got decimal. So that means we, we have ticked the remove scale. And that's it. So we have our head already. We don't need to define afresh. So we, what we do is just to click on the load header specs. Here is our header file. We apply it on the top. That's it. So the next step is to check if your your header match okay with your your data. That's it. So we are ready now to import our data. And remember, in case of any error it will display here and the system will show us the progress of the importation of our data as i said any missing value you leave blank don't put any special character but where there is missing value you leave blank the system will know that blank is the missing value so and then click on the load data to start the import process not the station, not the element, not the year because we are going to check if our data were 
your project successfully so click on the load button to load your data this is very fast just done so depending on the amount of your data but the process is very very fast so our data were imported successfully but we need of course to check if our data were imported successfully so there are there are two ways of checking you can check using claim soft you close this dialog close this one again come here to administration update observations remember your data are in this table observation initial table what you need to do is to provide your station id the element code as well it was element 5 and the year was 1930 up to 1931 so once you click view your data has been imported successfully so that's it as you can see your data does not have any decimals but as i told you the decimal will be brought back during the data transfer from this table to the final table so that it there is also another way of checking your data but right now this is to change in the back end is to check in the back end so that means to check in the database using the database application client so to do this you can close claimsoft completely you open the database application you open it this is your operational database i've got tables and as you know our data went into the observation initial table so if you click here you see that there are some you can see that there are some data here but you double click so you double click the file and you select the button data so here is your data you can scroll down you can also scroll right and left so that's it thank you very much for watching in my next video i'm going to show you now how to import another type of data but where by now uh, our observations or our elements are in different columns so what i mean here uh, we have our data here but now we are going to i'm going to show you now how to import data where by now elements are in multiple columns so here is an example for our lead data where by now element columns are in multiple you see this is the column for dry bulb wet bulb dew point so how to import such type of data this is not uh, uh, right data this is just for exercise purpose that's why you see that the values here are the are the same this is just for for demo purpose so that's it so how to import such kind of data whereby now elements are no longer in one in one column so this one is it's not there yes yeah, so it is like this yes so here we have different elements so how to import a such such data whereby elements are We've got multiple columns it's for our lead data i'm going to show for the our lead data i'm also going to show the same for the lead data in my next video so you see we have our file here station here month day now here we have column for precipitation column for maximum a column for minimum so how to import such type of data so keep watching and see you then in my next video thank you very much